Okay, so I just left my dream job that I spent multiple decades trying to get to. Why? So big reveal to the subscribers that don't know me personally, I've spent the last four years at Facebook, most recently as a product manager. So before I cover why I made the move, I think it would be helpful to talk about some of the things that were great over there and some of the things that I'm really going to miss. There's three criteria that I would use to evaluate the quality of a job. The first being the people, the second being the work that you do, and the third being the lifestyle. The people at Meta or formerly Facebook are off the charts. When I first got there and I looked around, I was extremely intimidated. There were people who had started and exited companies, people that came from Ivy League PhD programs and really anything that you could think of. In whatever niche they were in in life, they were one of the top performers. And it's pretty scary, but when you get into an environment like that, they bring you up and over time you can eventually feel like you're up here with them. And what I love the most about the people at a big tech company is that big tech allows for the highest risk adjusted return on one's time of most career paths that you're going to be able to find. You're not going to be getting paid the money that you would in banking, for example, but you'll get a ton for the amount of hours that you work and it's consistent. It's not as risky as a startup. This means that the people that elect to take these jobs care a ton about things outside of work and work doesn't necessarily define them. There are countless people I would meet there who would not compromise on being a great parent and being there for every event for their child or always making the surf session in the morning, things like this. And that just made for such an interesting workplace. And it made it a lot easier to make friends because you would hear about what people prioritize and you'd get to learn them on a personal level. All right, so outside of the people, there's the work. So I would say the majority of the time I was there, I was building things that hadn't existed before. We'd put them in a market, we would see if they worked, some of them hit, some of them didn't. But there was so much freedom in this. I'd been there for four years, so later on in my career, I felt like I got to choose the things that I wanted to work on. And really all I had to do was gather a bunch of research with some of the best researchers you're going to find, some of the best data scientists you're going to find, and then present a compelling case to leadership on why X thing was a great thing to build. And if they approved it, I got world-class engineers to just kind of build what I thought was a good idea. It's crazy to me that that job exists. And if it's successful, the product that you're launching, I mean, you could scale it to billions of users. Where else do you get that sort of opportunity? Yeah, and the lifestyle is just really solid. Because the work is defined by what you're able to deliver rather than the face time that you have with the boss, you're able to work remotely, or at least I was able to do that, which was quite a privilege. And I was able to go into the office when it was needed. So I fit the work around my lifestyle and still felt like I could have a really solid impact that I was proud of. Okay, so why did I leave? I actually wasn't a running away from anything. My cup was very full there, but I wanted to run towards something. And I know this is the most stereotypical thing right now, but I quit my job to build an AI company in healthcare. What I realized within big tech is that relatively ambitious people or maybe creative people love to talk about how they're actually going to take a step and do something entrepreneurial, go out on their own. But we just get so comfortable. And after four years of being in the big company, which was way longer than I thought I would be at it out of college, I started to feel like a liar when I would say that to people. So I would say, oh, I'm gonna make a company one day. I'm gonna make a company one day. And it's like four years later and I still hadn't really taken any measurable steps to make that happen. And I just felt like a phony. So I started seriously thinking about starting a company with a friend uh, around late last year. And as all these advances in AI happened, I did my master's in AI and I was just like, okay, your skill set is built for this. The world is changing. What more signal do you need to finally make a move? I get that this feels like another hype train, but I genuinely believe that this is the biggest moment in technology of my adult life. And there's going to be huge winners and I'm, always going to regret if I didn't give this a proper shot. And even if this doesn't end up being the next thing, 
even if I'm not able to create a product that can sufficiently solve a problem, I'm always going to be proud of the fact that I saw an opportunity and I actually tried instead of just talking about it. So how do I feel right now after having made this decision? Well, full disclosure, I quit after the tech round of layoffs, which was around a month ago. And I've been building since then. And I'm confident that even though this could be one of the worst financial decisions I've ever made, it's the best decision that I've ever made in my career. It's a lot more stressful. It's harder to sleep. There's always more stuff to do. I'm directly accountable for the thing working or not. But I have a deep level of satisfaction in that I actually tried this instead of just being at the big company saying, oh, one day, one day, and then always just wondering what could have been, you know? On top of that, I don't know how, but I was able to get an incredible group to build this with. So we have three co-founders that I'm extremely confident in. And if anything, the relationships that we'll make, the adventure that we're going to go on will be worth it in itself. Also, I can't get too much into the details of what I'm trying to build, but it's called Hona. We have a website and we're trying to test this product. So if you know anyone in primary care, a nurse, a nurse practitioner, a physician, I would love to talk to them about their biggest pain points in their job. And also if they'd wanna test my product and give feedback to me, that would be amazing. We basically want to help them make better decisions faster. So taking all the information that they see every day and making it easier to understand and also giving them a little bit of decision support like, hey, the X number means that maybe it's Y diagnosis. You should double check this. Also, if I met you at Facebook Meta over that journey, it was a lot of fun. Um, I'm sure we're still going to be in touch, but it was a lot of fun and I greatly appreciate all the memories that I was able to make with all of you. So yeah, on to the next adventure. Let's get it.